Imagine we had a test that was about 100 questions. Here we go. And yes, we can actually do the test, but like, is there a way we can somehow not really do much of it? What I mean is that what we can do is divide the questions and not do much, but still do as much as we can and still pass with a grade. Let's flip this paper. So the math problem that we're trying to figure out is somehow find the perfect division. So let's say that for any given question, so let's say we have about 88 questions, how are we going to somehow divide them perfectly? So let me put the division. What is a perfect division at all? Like if I put two, that'll become 44. So that means if I flip over back here again, I'll see uh, 44. So I'll work all the way to 44, but anything afterwards, I'll be able to beat it. But the problem is, is passing the grade. So let's say that we have to deal with an 80%. Knowing that we have 100 questions and knowing that we have about 80%, what are we going to do? What equation do we need to use? Or what type of perfect number that we need to use for 80 and also for any questions that is, you know, big? So far, we have about 100 questions. Let's say that we have a number line or just a line in general out of 0 to 100. So I can just, you know, put a line right here and put uh, 60 to uh, 40. There we go. So we have 60 to 40. Obviously, now I have to randomize all 40. So I go back here again, go to 60. Anything after 60, well, that's what I have to deal with and randomize. And obviously, let's say we have 60% so far. And that means we have to add the randomization. So let's say I've gotten about, uh, you know, 15%. We equal that and that would be 75. Sadly, that is not a passing grade. We need to find a division that must be somewhere above or somewhere between. That's what we're trying to figure out. And that's what I want to spend a lot of hours doing. Obviously, this entire setup took me so long. I don't know why I did this, but I thought this was a, a good, uh, you know, way to make my editing style. I don't know. This is my first time, so I, I kind of really don't care. Look at that. My lighting's gone. All right, let's start the doing the challenge and see if what perfect division I need to do. So, uh, yeah. Obviously, my mic sounds very loud, but uh, it, uh, it sucks. All right, let's do it. Yeah! All right, anyway, we're back from whatever that was. Uh, we're at least here at our perfect suffering machine called Desmos. Uh, so we're going to make the thing. We're going to find the perfect division for 100 questions and somehow pass within 80%. So let's do that. Uh, I don't know why there's a timer. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's start the time lapse. I don't want to waste your time. And I'll see you when I come back from anything that's new. All right, three, two, one, now. Oh my god, I'm done. <laughs> I am so done. Okay. <laughs> what we have here, let me just close that down, is we have five students. E, E, Mr. E, and we have Mr. C, we have Mr. G, and we have Mr. GG. I'll show you throughout these students. All these students have different minds, different, well, conceptual number, because they're like, you know, they're just a basically a number. That's what I'm saying. So Mr. E, e is this number, 0 0.69. Mr. E is literally E. And Mr. C happens to be yeah, this one. And uh, Mr. G happens to be the golden ratio. And Mr. GG is uh, a parent that is also from golden ratio. But these five students uh, had a very strong battle. And here you go. I, 
you, you see the battle. And so far, Mr. GG has won about four times in a row without losing uh, multiple choice. This is for coin flips and this is for multiple choice or for like four questions. This took way too long. And what what even sucks is that I've been trying to prove the gold ratio so wrongly and, and then it ends up being the perfect division. I want to show you how I found the perfect division. What we first need is a number line. Here it is. 0 to 1. So the reason why we have 0 to 1 is so if we had 100 questions, we can multiply this number line with the 100 questions and we get 100. There we go. So now, how are we going to find the perfect division out of this? Well, let's start off with some random division. 1 divided by 2. What we're going to do is just multiply them. 1 divided by 2 times 100 would be just become 50. And then the other 50 would just become random. So we got two portions. But what if instead it was 1 divided by 4? All right, so if we did 1 divided by 4 times 100, that would become 25. There we go. All right, so now what is this portion now? Well, let's do some geometry and we can turn this portion right here to negative. So negative 25 plus 100 would equal 75. There we go. So the problem here is, is now we have to do 25, but become random up 75. Well, that won't even make us pass at all. It won't even make us pass at 80% at all. We're going to like have like a 30% of a grade. So what we need to do is just flip this so we can at least survive the test. Let me just get this over here. Look at that. So now knowing that we have this, the problem here is, is that one divided by four times 100 won't equal 75. Ugh. That's not good. Okay, so what we need to do is somehow find a way to actually get to there. Well, knowing that 1 divided by 4 is 25, what we can do is have 3 divided by 4. If I did 3 divided by 4 times 100, that would become 75. But you can see something unique here is that what we can see here is that 4 is close to 3. It's like off by 1. So let's see if that test is real. So 1 divided by 5 times 100, that would become 20. All right, so now what we can do here is what is this portion? So that means that'll be 4 divided by 5. Because if I did 4 divided by 5 plus 1, 5, that become 1. So if I did 4 divided by 5 times 100, that would just become 80. Like that is so. And again, we're like off by 1 again. We're like, if I did 4 plus 1, it would just equal to 5. If I did 3 plus 1, that would equal to 4. So we can see the pattern again. So let's create an equation. Instead of, you know, inputting 4 to 5 or 6 to 7 to 8 to 9, we can just replace that as a variable, as an x. And knowing that this is just off by 1, we can just put x minus 1. x minus 1. And look at that. We can just remove this. And we figured out something. Look at that. We have this. What we can do is now remove this and have this. What we have here is now x minus 1 divided by x. Let's make it formal. All right. Look at that. It, it, look, it became formal. <laughs> All right. So we have this now. What we can do now is replace 100 with x. Because what we can do is have infinite questions, right? So we can deal with anything. But now we have a problem. What is this section right here? We need to figure out this. So let's do the same thing with geometry. What we can do is turn this portion right here to negative. All right, look at that. Boom, negative. And what we need to do is actually equal these out. We need to have x equals this as so. And look at that. We just figured out a portion. All right, so now we have to solve for this portion now. We've got to just basically solve for x. All right, if I zoom in, oh, it, it's, a, it's an irrational number. All right, so. What this becomes is this number. Look at that. And that is, this would be considered phi, by the way. And we basically found our solution. <laughs> All right, so then that's basically it. This becomes our perfect division, and this would become, you know, the the, re the residue or whatever. And we could just multiply that, and we would get our, what, random stuff ever, whatever, our random junk. I have no idea. I hope this, I hope you learned something from this. Do, what does this applicate, and what does this really mean is that the golden ratio can be statistically proven and the golden ratio would be considered to be the perfect division for your test in general and it's pretty nice uh <laughs> that is pretty nice uh actually wait let me actually uh make this look nice because right now it looks very messy all right three two one magic boom <laughs> there we go look at look how small it is now but basically now they're compact and I don't know why there's a seven, a three, you know, I, I don't want to go too fundamental into number theory, but whatever. This is what it looks like. <laughs> uh, these are the solutions. It's kind of interesting. That's what it really looks like. Wow. All right. So that's basically it. <laughs> it's really nice. Uh, if you have need a test or everything, you can have it. I hope you learned something today. This was insane. <laughs> I hope you share, like, subscribe because this was pretty enjoyable. Uh, 
yeah, that was, that was it. See you in the next video. All right, bye. Whee.